This is a quick uh, video and it's the world's simplest solar lighting controller. It's the absolute minimum number of components. So we'll start off with the solar cell. Um, so here's the solar cell. And the voltage you choose will depend on the batteries you have. So you might want to use maybe two or three nickel metal hydride cells. We'll use three. So that would have typical upper charging voltage of 4.5 volts. So they're nickel metal hydride cells. Or nickel cadmium, but I'd recommend nickel metal hydride these days. So say this one is going to have a diode, that's for 4.5. So yeah, between 5 or 6 volts. So say that, let's say this is a 6 volt solar, solar cell. And we're going to charge that via a diode. And the diode is going to be the negative side for a very specific reason. You see, there's going to be a transistor and it's going to be a generic NPN transistor and it's going to be turned on by a resistor and the value of that will depend on the light level you want it coming on at and the output of the solar panel, how sensitive it is um, and where it's located. Uh, if you live in an area which is jet black, that can be quite a high value. So I chose 22K for my prototype. And that, uh, the transistor is um, connected via a resistor to limit the current from the LEDs. And the LEDs are all in one big parallel array. You could use, if you're using fairly chunky um, LEDs, you might want to use a resistor per LED. But uh, this was really designed originally for just controlling little strings of garden lights. So that would be typically like the, the strings of uh, LED fairy lights you get or Christmas lights. So in this case, you could use 10 to 100 ohm resistor and a big string of maybe 20 or anything, anything really, up to 100 LEDs, I think. Um, the only other thing in this circuit is a wire link down there. And that is the whole circuit. And the way this works, oh, I'm, I'll just go right and collector, emitter, and base, and that's an NPN transistor. I used a BC547, which is a typical very low current um, transistor in the UK. Uh, you could probably use something like a 2N2222 or 2N3904 or something. Just note um, that the pinout may be different from the BC547, although it's just emitter collector base is marked here. So here's how it works. When there's sunlight, the this um, solar panel puts out a voltage of, say, 5 or 6 volts, and it charges that bank of nickel metal hydride cells via this polarity protection diode. The diode has two functions. Um, it, basically speaking, at night time, it's going to stop it back feeding through this diode um, into the solar panel. But it also means that while the solar panel is actually putting a voltage out, the base will be held approximately 0.5 to 0.6 volts below the emitter, so it will actually hold this transistor off. And as it gets darker, and effectively this solar cell electrically disappears because it's uh, not putting anything out anymore, you'll end up with this transist This resistor here will pass current into the base of the um, transistor, turning it on, this resistor limits the current and the LEDs light, and it'll just stay on all night until it gets light again, if the batteries haven't drained by that time, and as this solar, the sunlight comes up and the solar cell starts putting uh, voltage out again, it'll turn the transistor off again and start charging the cells. It's very simple, a super simple circuit. I really like this circuit a lot because it's only got two resistors, transistor and a diode. It's very easy just to hardwire.